Hey guys, what's up? It is Michael from Lean Body Lifestyle and today I'm going to show you guys how to make one of the easiest, quickest, and simplest uh, no-bake cheesecake recipes. And we're also going to kind of make a variation of the crust too. So you're going to get that crunch uh, that you normally get with the crust. And it's going to be so simple, you guys are really going to enjoy it. And what we're going to start out with is four ounces of cream cheese. Now, most cheesecakes are made from cream cheese, but today we're going to be using a low fat or a no fat, whatever you guys have, either one works. And you're going to take four ounces. And this is an eight ounce serving, so obviously I'm just going to take half of it. So I have my four ounces of fat free cream cheese in a bowl. And now what you're going to do is take two tablespoons of low fat or no fat plain Greek yogurt. And then you're just going to stir this up a little bit. So I've got all the uh, two ingredients mixed up so far. And now at this point in the recipe, you could add protein powder if you wanted. Keep in mind, it is completely optional. Um, a lot of people complain when I use protein powder and don't. So this recipe, it's optional. But today I'm going to add it, but you don't need it. And now let's say you're one of the people that don't have access to protein powder. Uh, to replace that, just use some unsweetened baking cocoa. That would work just the same. So now I've got my protein powder in a bowl. I'm just going to mix that up as well. Now most cheesecakes are loaded with sugar. So obviously we're not going to add a bunch of sugar. What we're going to do is take one tablespoon of stevia. You could use Splenda or Truvia. Whatever you have is fine and then just mix the stevia in there. And again, that's gonna give it that sweet taste that most cheesecakes have. And this is basically what you're gonna get at this point. This is pretty much gonna taste like the filling of a normal cheesecake, except there's no crust. And you can try it right now, and if it needs to be sweeter, obviously add a little bit more stevia. But um, to kinda give it that crunch for the crust, what we're gonna do is take a little bit of flax multi-brand cereal, and then you're just gonna take a handful, probably around a quarter of a cup, and then crunch it up in your hand and spread it across the top. So now we have kind of like a crust on top of the cheesecake filling, so it's kind of like an upside down cheesecake, I guess. And then one more ingredient, this is completely optional, it will probably just make it taste a little bit better. Uh, add a little bit of cinnamon on the crust, and that is your final product. Uh, try this one out because it's a really good substitute to a cheesecake. Um, obviously, cheesecakes are one of the worst desserts for you because they're full of fat, but this is kind of like the typical cheesecake with a little bit of a healthy twist on it. So try this out. Let me know what you guys think, and I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you liked it, please leave a like rating because I really appreciate that. And if you want to stop by my Facebook, Twitter, and blog where you can find all my recipes, those links will be in the description. But thank you guys for watching, and I hope you have a good day. Bye.